when you're going through and diagnosing a vehicle and you're checking scan data, how are you sure that it's, that data is always 100% correct? You really need to use a lab scope to double check and see what the component's actually doing. And wouldn't it be nice if you had a way you could compare them both on the same screen to see what's going into the computer and what's coming out of the computer? Well, we got a really easy way to do that, so I'm going to show you. All right, so the car is all hooked up. So first, let's take a look at the scanner data to see what we got going on. Now, I have the intake air temperature sensor voltage pulled up over here so I can take a look at it and see what's going on. It says it's reading about 3.03 volts. I'll actually make that full screen and make it a little easier to see there. Now, I also have it plugged in with the lab scope. So that'll tell me exactly at the component level what's going on with that sensor. So if I go into my fuel injection system, and I'm going to find the intake air temperature sensor. Then I want to do a DC voltage test, right? Because I'm reading voltage coming out of the scanner, so I want to see the voltage going in to the computer. So we'll click DC voltage test. Gives me my pin assignment, shows me what the connector is supposed to look like on the right hand side here. Over on the left tells me how to plug in my wires. So if I scroll down a little bit, click view meter. It's going to click, it's going to turn on. And now we have a voltage going across the screen. All right. I'm going to change that so I can see a little bit of data there. Now if I go up and click this button that says meter on the top, I can make it full screen. And if I click that one more time, it's going to turn it into a window. So I can adjust it, move it around, do whatever I might need to do to see what I need to see. Now I can go back over to the scanner by hitting the home key, going back to scanner. Now this button right next to the home button, that is the taskbar button. If I press that, you see where it says scope viewer there on the window. I can click scope viewer and I can see what's going into the computer and what's coming out of the computer on the same screen. So right now I'm getting a live value of 3.06. If I look up here on the scanner, it says 3.01. We're kind of close, pretty close. I'd say that's close enough. So we know that this is working. Now what if the computer scanner value was totally different than what I had going in with my lab scope. Well, I would always say that the lab scope is going to tell you exactly what that component is doing because it's plugged in right at the component. Now, if the component's good and the computer's bad, next thing I would do is unplug the lab scope, follow that wire back where it goes right to the front of the PCM, and plug it in there and double check my signal there. If the signal's good all the way up to the PCM, and it's bad coming out the back of the PCM, you know you got a bad PCM. Now if it had a bad signal going into the PCM, maybe it might be my wiring, but at least I've verified that the component isn't the problem and it may be the wiring or something else. So hopefully that'll help you in some of these voltage issues or some other issue you might be dealing with in your diagnostics.